I forgot to actually start the game. We need to change the name anyways. So this is by the same studio, Mud Duck, as that last game we were playing. It's Extreme, spelled with an X, of course, because, you know, only the most extreme of things. AMF Extreme Bowling. It's coming up on Twitch as Extreme Bowling 2006. Is that the right game? I have no idea. Copyright 2006 Mud Duck Productions. So yeah, I'm guessing that's the right one. So I guess that's what we're playing. <laughs> AMF Extreme spelled with an X Bowling. Let's do it. Let me uh, actually turn on the PS2. That'll help a little bit. There we go. That's better. Oh, and we get the fantastic PS2 startup sound as well. Love it. Let's add this to my list of games so I don't forget that we've played it. AMF Extreme Bowling. True that we own and true that we streamed. And we're not going to give it a first impression rating because I haven't actually played it yet. Cool, cool. That sound is like heaven to you. Yeah, same. Honestly, I love the PS2 startup sound. PS1, 2, and 3 startup sounds are all very nostalgic, very iconic to me. Yeah, we'll create a profile, a save, whatever, of course. Frankenscoob. You forgot Frankenscoob. That one sounds cool. I want to buy some more of the, uh, the Scooby-Doo movies. I don't know if Mr. Noodle got me any of them or not, but I know one of the uh, TV shows was on my, my list of ideas. Toad is one of those long lo ones that have wheels like a trunk. I need to get some more totes now that you mention it. We have a lot of totes here, but honestly, a lot of them are just full of junk. <laughs> but I, I need one now for all of the, the games that I'm collecting. I also, I don't really collect Blu-rays per se. I just happen to have a lot of them. So I have like a tote full of those. And then I have a tote full of just like random junk that I didn't know what else to do with. And then uh, I need another tote to put all my games in until I can get like, I'm hoping whenever we get a house, I want to get like a whole streaming room put together. And I'm hoping to get like bookshelves where we can, uh, where I can just have all of my games kind of on bookshelves on display and whatnot. Or at least, you know, my favorites. I don't know if I'll be able to literally have them all. Because if all goes to plan, I'll have, you know, 1,800 PS2 games, so. <laughs> if I get one, you recommend Where's My Mummy or Goblin King? Ooh, okay. Where's My Mummy makes me think of the Doctor Who episode, though. Are you my mummy? Creepy as hell. You have a couple that will never, ever be put in bags or toads super sentimental to you. Yeah, yeah, she does. We have to sleep with at least one of them every night. Same noodle, same, you still sleep with Red Eye. You will have him buried, and <laughs> you will be buried with him. I'm pretty sure Mr. Noodle has said the same about a couple of her, or one of hers specifically. Wow, the music is loud in this game, I feel like. I'm gonna turn down my personal headphones there a little bit, cause it's a bit much. The drive back is the worst at the end of the night. Oh, that does suck. Yeah, Night Night's his name. So you're done uh, dashing for the night then? I hope you had a pretty decent, yeah, as Rue was saying there, I hope you had a pretty decent day, pretty decent uh, uh, dashing day. All right, let's go ahead and uh, create a proper profile. We last thing we want is to lose our um, our progress. Uh, this is the worst keyboard ever. Why, just give us a keyboard to type stuff in instead of making us scroll through the entire alphabet one letter at a time. I despise it. <laughs> We're just going to do stream. I should have went the other way. At least this one's pretty fast and responsive. Every once in a while you get one of those games where it takes a moment to go from letter to letter. At least this one's nice and fast. Uh, Male or female? I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to stop and close my eyes. Three, two, one. There we go. That's what we are. Hand, we will be left-handed. Why not? Head, body, legs. You know what? This dude looks perfect the way he is. I see no way 
that he needs adjusted. Edit ball. Of course we're going to edit his ball. <laughs> I don't know, honestly, if you can or not. If you can't send a pic in the DM there, uh, Noodle, what you could do is that eBay listing where you found another one. If you still have the link to that eBay listing, you could you could send that. It's a bedtime bear, if you know what bedtime bear is from Care Bears. Yeah, we still kept the original one though that Mr. Noodle had. But uh yeah, we did we did get a second one, because yeah. So custom? Yeah, we'll do we'll do custom. Why not? Marbled? Ooh. We can we can get all fancy with our balls. I like the swirl. That one looks cool. I like blue. Can we do like dark blue and purple, maybe? Is purple an option? Yeah, there we go. I like that. 16 pound, 10 pound. Um, I don't know. It seemed like it was 16 was the default, so we'll just we'll do that. That looks cool. I want a shadow box for him. Yeah. That would be nice. She's brought that up before. Okay, so hopefully that saves. Oh, there we go. Save profile. Perfect. Yeah, it was okay. And a bunch of back roads. So you go in and out of service and have this completely rational fear when Dick goes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I could understand being scared of like, uh, I don't know, wolves or, or, or bears or something, you know, but for some reason, I, I think the likelihood of you getting attacked by a Wendigo is uh is pretty pretty slim. <laughs> Always fear the Wendigo. Oh no, oh no. Is this is this like a, a common fear that I I just missed somehow? <laughs> like I don't I don't know, man. I think there's a a pretty there's been a lot of talk about them lately. Has there? Why? Is there like, is there something going on with them? Wolves and bears are cool. <laughs> yeah, real, real uh, forest creatures that could actually wreck your car or, or murder you. Nah, those are fine, but <laughs> they're hecking scary. I mean, if they were a real thing, yeah, sure. I, I understand that, but like, they're not though, so. <laughs> like, I don't know. I have I have a mentality that makes it really hard to get scared by things like that. Like scary movies and whatnot never really work for me either for those for that same reason. Like number of players? Uh well I'm assuming everybody else is gonna be CPU controlled, because there's only me right now. Like I like some scary movies and whatnot, but it's just like horror films, I guess is the better way to put it. But they're always so fake. You know, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do we'll do our own character for us. Do we get to pick who the other person is or loading? I don't know. I'm gonna take a quick drink before we finish this up. Um, by finish this up, really, I mean get started with bowling until dawn. I really want to play until dawn. I haven't yet, but I do want to. I'm pretty sure it's on PlayStation Now, which is a, uh, it's basically Xbox Game Pass, but for Sony's consoles. And I'm pretty sure they have more games on their platform. And you can also stream. Anyways, I'm getting a little sidetracked. Pretty, point is, I'm pretty sure it's on there as well. So, and I, I do uh, subscribe to that. So one of these days I'll have to download it and try it. You have a few areas down South Colorado where rumors of stuff like this is rampant. Yeah, and I mean, like, growing up, we told scary stories. I guess we don't really, like, have anything that big, like, creature-wise. I don't know, but point is, uh, whatever. <laughs> like, when I was younger, I was a little scared of some of that stuff. Like, I remember... One of my brothers telling me a lot about the Blair Witch and the Blair Witch Project, like, movie, and, like, he was acting like it was real and everything, and, yeah. But. So, this is kind of a, a thing. I watched a video a while back, like, maybe a month or so ago, about oil patterns and how it changes bowling lanes, and this game actually lets you change 
the oil pattern on the freaking boil on the the bowling lane. That's kind of a <laughs> that's insane to me. Um, I guess. This is kind of the one that's most popular, if I remember correctly, is tapered. Because flat, maybe flat is the most common. I don't remember. I don't really remember now. We're going to we're gonna do taper, I think. Couldn't send an actual picture. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't think Twitch did actual photos, but I could have been. I could have been wrong. Three months you've been subscribed now, Nate. That's crazy, man. Thank you so much, by the way. Appreciate it again, man, if you can hear me at the moment. It's hard to believe that I've been doing this, like, semi-proper for three months now. <laughs> All right, so we get to pick where we're throwing. So I, I'm no expert, but basically what we want to do, I think, is throw it down this side and then spin it and try to hit it from the side so we want to we want to spin like that and then that was terrible <laughs> okay <laughs> oh let's try that again so i i think that was right and we do want a lot of spin on it but man okay so it's getting getting that accuracy throw in there seems pretty important, you know, so we don't just go straight into the gutter. <laughs> oh, he's been very well loved. You to do oh, yeah, I didn't even think of Imager. Guess you could have used that as well, Mr. Noodle, but yeah, whatever. Alright, uh, let's try this again. So I think we were doing it right by throwing it roughly down the right side here, and I think we do want to put a decent spin on it. Man, okay, so I gotta I gotta hit that earlier than what I think I do. You've never used Imager before? Oh yeah, I mean that's fair. It's just a image like hosting site. Am I spinning it the wrong way? Maybe I'm spinning it the wrong way. I mean we could just throw it down the middle, that would be easier, probably. But I'm trying to like, the, the best way to hit the ball, if I'm not mistaken, is kind of from the side. And since we're throwing left-handed, maybe it would make more sense to throw from over here. It'd probably be a bit easier, at least, right? And I do think I had this spin backwards. We're going to do the same spin again. Okay, well, we really have to hit that accuracy early, man. Okay. There we go. Wait, what? What happened? I hit the accuracy, like, on the dot, didn't I? I'm very confused. Is there a tutorial? Hold on, let's quit. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm sure. Because we completely lost. Is there... Okay, there's a practice. We'll try that, I guess. Because, obviously, we're screwing something up here. It's pretty handy when needed, and yep, you got him from a third grade teacher when she gave us all a box of stuffies to choose from. That's cute. Just keep going back to him. He's been your travel buddy ever since. Whenever you travel anywhere, he's either in your arms or in your personal backpack. That's real cute. Hopefully, practice will kind of explain what we're doing as well. So I, I do understand the basics of bowling, but I don't understand the basics on how to control this game. So... <laughs> And I feel like that's a, a little important. And right, we're going to do the same. Oh, we can even adjust oil amount. What are the frames? I guess that's how much oil. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we can see. Oh, well, we'll leave it on the default. And then I guess we'll just do flat, since that seems to be the, the, the one that it says is used mainly in competitions and things like that. We'll try that instead. Oh. All right, so we're, we're, we're left-handed, so I still think we were doing the right thing by throwing it down this side. And then 
Okay, we're just not even gonna apply a spin or anything. Do we... Do we hit the X button twice? Like... Yeah, okay. And that went, that went basically straight. Okay, so we just gotta do that again, but spin it. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to apply like three or four levels of spin. Gosh. Okay, so either more spin. Oh, nope, we wanna be right in the middle of that, right about there. Apply all the spin. Try that again. Ah, that accuracy meter is actually really hard, man. You have to hit it so early. And if you're not like super accurate, you just lose instantly. Yeah, like it's not even trying. Is that just because we're throwing on the side? Like if we throw down the center, maybe it'll be a little more forgiving. Yeah, it's a little more forgiving, but we are still going like right in the gutter. Is that because of how much spin we're putting on it? Man. So that is what I want to do. Like I want to throw it here. It's just a matter of, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think we're just gonna have to stop trying to <laughs> play it fancy and just go for it go for for down the middle stuff ah <laughs> this is so bad it, like it moves so quick man now it cheats and feels safe <laughs> oh no I'm glad you're safe bud we definitely needed this practice mode is there like an option to make the game a little bit easier? <laughs> no, there's not. Oh no. I'm telling you what, I don't. I try not to do this too often because it's a lot easier to see chat whenever I am watching through OBS. But I think I'm gonna have to switch to my normal monitor for this here because it is like this timing is very rough. Yeah, that is. That's so much better. Okay. Now I gotta unlearn how early I was trying to hit the button. There we go, okay. We got this, we got this. When Diggos, yeah. <laughs> so Nate was talking earlier about, uh, he, he door dashes and he's on his way home door dashing on a bunch of back streets. And he was saying that the whole time he was driving, he was scared of the Wendigos. <laughs> Nice to see you here, by the way, Nate, or Nate. I mean, it's nice to see you too, Nate, but yeah, I meant Adam. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit easier now that I'm using the monitor itself instead of going through OBS, but that is still a tough meter to hit. But what is it? Um, I'm probably not the right person to explain it because I don't know the myth that well. An animal like a raccoon? Nah, it, it's completely based off of myth. It is, uh, I will just do a quick Google search of it here. It is mythological creature or evil spirit, which originates from the folklore of First Nations based in and around the East Coast forests of Canada, the Great Plains region of the United States, and the Great Lakes region of the United States and Canada. Grouped in mar words. Um, also known as Flesh Eater of the Forests. It's like, imagine a, a humanoid creature, so something that looks like a human, but with really long arms and beast-like legs and, uh, and like antlers on its head and like just skin and bones. I, I don't know. Cannibals? Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, no, it, it, it's not a pet at all. It is 100% uh, a myth, a thing that, you know, the, the scare children and, and they talk about in shows and things. As Mr. Noodle point out, Sam and Dean, that's uh, <laughs> those are characters from a TV show called Supernatural, if you've never seen it. But it's just a group of guys that go around hunting strange creatures and things like that. And uh, 
yeah, they would they would know how to explain it. But I, <laughs> I, I know I, I'm terrible at that sort of thing. I don't really follow mythological creatures all that much. So, while we're walk, have I lived under? I mean, hey, I hardly knew what it was whenever they were talking about it. So don't feel too bad. <laughs> you're not you're not completely alone. You think it's what they hunted in the first episode? Maybe. But, I mean, that show was, what, 16 seasons long? <laughs> like, it's hard to say. I, I do not remember all that well. And right, we're going to try one more practice around here again. We're going we're gonna to try getting the... Okay. We're going to try doing the, the fancy shots once or twice here. If that doesn't work, then we're just going to give up and go for just normal shots. Because, yeah, that is still very uh very touchy like it's hard to get a perfect accuracy on that there learning curve more like learning spin right honestly i think i understand how to play the game at this point it's just very rough on the 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 accuracy part there so if we just shoot straight down the middle at least we'll probably hit the pins so we're gonna we're gonna go for that i guess Stop trying to do spins and fancy stuff. We're just gonna we're just gonna kind of shoot and go from there, I suppose. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna stay here and practice. We're gonna actually try to do a probably just a quick match. I don't imagine we're gonna be playing this for too long. Probably like a half hour and then uh, call it a night here. They need a cheat to slow down the accuracy meter. That would be amazing, honestly, Adam. I don't, I haven't looked up cheats or anything for the game. It's possible they exist. I didn't see anything in the options menu, though. That was something that I at least very quickly looked for, because that would definitely be helpful. <laughs> All right, which, uh, what, what course do we want to do? Oh, they have extreme versions. What are the extreme versions? Is that just with, like, fancy lights and stuff like that? Like, I know some of our local bowling alleys have, like, these these neon ones and whatnot. Tombstone Extreme? Let's do it. I'm guessing that's what Extreme is. Just, you know, neon lights and... and I don't know. <laughs> just crap glowing everywhere. Just remember to re Reddit post where there was a tofu option for people who wanted to try camp. I think I've seen that before. I don't remember if it was the post or a news story about it or what, but I think I heard something about that. It's very weird, isn't it? Okay, so I mean, it looks a little darker in here maybe than, than normal, but I'm still not sure how the extreme thing... How is that a complete miss? Our accuracy wasn't that bad. Come on, get over there. The ball goes crazy if you're not perfect on that extreme, man. I'm gonna get wrecked. Holy crap, she gotta strike her first throw. <laughs> Ugh. Why is there a jail in the back? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. Yeah, it looks like this is some sort of, maybe like Wild West theme thing or something. <laughs> extreme with an X means extra profit on sale, said every manager in the 2000s. Essentially, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's basically it too. Nope, that's not gonna that's not gonna work. Holy crap! Yeah, this was actually uh, Zenimax, so the same company that owns Bethesda, you know, from Fallout and Elder Scrolls and all that. The same parent company, because this was made by Mud Duck, and it specifically says says Mud Duck Zenimax Media Brand, and. Uh, I guess this is what Zenimax was putting out before <laughs> before Fallout and all that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, not made by the same company, though, because Bethesda makes those games. But it, Bethesda is also a Zenimax company. So, I guess now they're both Microsoft companies, but, you know. <laughs> so, was the, uh, the last game that we played tonight... Uh, Mo Power Drone, the game that we played right before this, was also Mud Duck, a Zenimax media brand. So, both games were from uh, Zenimax. 
And uh, I, I'm assuming Mud Duck was just their division that was just there to put out junk. <laughs> like, just get as much shovelware out the door as possible. In fairness to this game specifically, it is like AMF. So that's like an actual bowling tournament or something, I think. And they talk a lot on the back about like it being a super accurate simulation and all that junk. Um, and like you can even change your patterns with the, the oil on the ground and everything like that or on the lane. So, wait, we had perfect accuracy. How did we miss? Excuse me? What? Uh, what? What happened? I am very confused. It looks like that kind of shows us our oil on the ground. I am actually very confused, though. The accuracy was perfect that time. Blame it on the extreme. <laughs> I am real life like, huh? Bull. <laughs> well, you mean you've never thrown your ball perfectly down the lane and then it just disappeared? I'm actually, I don't know what happened there, though. All the other times that happened, I was like, oh, our accuracy was bad. It must have just went straight into the gutter or something. But, like, we, we hit that perfectly, I thought. Yeah, on the back of the box, it says, Accurate ball, pin, and lane physics provide a realistic experience. Huh. Yep, well. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna get wrecked here. You're happy you buy me such good games? Me too, Mr. Noodle. You know what it might be? It's looking like, I think maybe I hit the, the power thing too late and never actually hit it. I think what, maybe that's what happened. Okay, so maybe it's not the game's fault. Maybe, maybe I was just, I was just hitting the, the button a, a moment too late there. That's, that's reasonable enough. They could have given a little bit of feedback on that or something, you know? Like have a, a commentator that says something or, or a pop-up that says like uh, too weak or, or missed or, you know, just anything. <laughs> Wait, oh, hold on. I have another idea too. Maybe if we do a lower powered shot, the accuracy part will be slower. Oh, look at that, man. Okay, so we can do a more accurate shot the slower we throw the ball. We're learning. We are learning. Cheat activated. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to... I'm sure it's going to... It's not going to end too well, but we're going to try doing a, a proper... Or a more proper, at least. I am by no means a bowling pro, but a more proper shot. So we're going to take it over here. We want to spin it clockwise because we're on the left side. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that. And then low power, not super accurate, but better. Okay, so we needed to be a little bit farther out, but look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> we're learning. Okay, maybe maybe we'll uh, win a game before the end of the night. It still seems like a bit of a pipe dream, but it's possible. It could happen. So they're, they're talking about like how realistic their physics are and everything. I wonder if the oil actually kind of gets spread out as the, the game goes along. Because that's something that real life bowlers have to deal with. Not possible, but plausible. Why did it spin so much more that time? Did I have more spin on it that time than last time? I don't know. Oh no, it's definitely spinning more. Wait. Did I accidentally, like, let go of the spin or something? The first time that we did? The first time went so well. What happened? <laughs> Use less spin? That's what I'm going to do, but I, I thought that's the same amount of spin that I used the first time. So we're just going to do two, and then hit it right about there. Reasonably accurate. Still too much spin. That wasn't enough power either, I don't feel like. Okay, we just want a, a, just a, a baby spin. Just just one little, and then a little bit more power. Okay, see, that's that's almost exactly how you actually want to hit the the pins from, from what I've seen, at least, you know? Again, I am not a professional bowler, but I've, I've watched videos on professional bowlers and the physics on, on how it works and 
what kind of shot you want to make and they even talked about oil patterns and all that crap too but lord knows i don't remember all that jazz but that was almost exactly how we want to hit it so we just want to hit it a little bit harder nice accuracy yes so close man so close all right so now we just basically want to hit it if we can just straight down the lane is there yeah there's a zoom there we go so we just gotta we don't even need much power we just gotta be super accurate with it come on come on come on come on yeah nicked it perfect just keep doing that forever <laughs> that's the hope at least right so we want this kind of like just on the right side of it there just one or two things to spin ah that was a bad throw bad accuracy on it there we got one pin <laughs> oh no all right well that's right that was that was the actual practice round right all those other practice rounds we did didn't count because we didn't know how to play the damn game <laughs> but now we know what we're doing so we're gonna we're gonna try one more time this looks harder than it should be yeah i mean i'm sure part of it's just me being bad but yes <laughs> it feels harder than it should be too stream has unlocked something i didn't see what it was i wonder what the the pin challenge and whatnot is i'm assuming it'll just put pins like down randomly and we'll have to or in specific spots and then we'll have to uh let's do three people this time anyways and then we'll have to try to knock them all down you had enough paper by the way just don't look at it too closely all right mr noodle can do new one guy who threw a ball into the gutter then bounced it out for a strike what the hell <laughs> that would be pretty uh impressive to see to be honest that'd be pretty neat man i've always wanted to see somebody accidentally throw it into the next lane and get a strike that would be hilarious too let's try another extreme map just for the hell of it we'll do a south town extreme maybe sawgrass lanes this one this one looks neon as hell you've seen it <laughs> that <laughs> oh man that had to be hilarious yeah you all laughed i can understand why <laughs> I want to go bowling more often. Like I said, I'm not particularly good at it or anything. But me and Mr. Noodle went... Oh, it must have been, what, three, four months ago now, love? Anyways, and... I mean, it's a fun time. Used to be pretty good at bowling until you played with me. Which I don't understand why. Like, you say that, but... Are you just... Do I scare you? Is that what it is? And... Hey, nice accuracy. Pretty good strike on our first one. Nice. Back in high school was every Friday night. Oh, is Rue said, oh, I, I missed your message, Rue. Have a nice night, man. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you joining the stream while you could. And I hope to see you in a, uh, a day or two. I don't know. Like I said, tomorrow we might be doing some of the podcast tomorrow afternoon, but it, it depends on whether Dorseman ends up being available or not. If he's not available, I might play a little bit of the lord of the rings but i also have to prepare um my D, &D campaign for that night so we'll see we'll see you watch me and it makes you nervous well <laughs> am i supposed to just not watch you bowl while we're out bowling together i don't <laughs> i don't know how that's supposed to work mr noodle you work till 11 30 at night See, I usually get off around 10. That's why I, generally speaking, start around 11.30 with my streams. Because that gives me just enough time to get home uh, if I need to shower or anything. Quickly do that. Although, I usually do that after stream, to be honest. Uh, get a little bit of food and then go to bed. Or not go to bed. Get online. Alright, one or two bars of spin. Just a little bit above the power line. And nice accuracy. Uh, but tomorrow, though... I, I don't have a specific time because Wednesdays aren't days that I usually stream. Um, but since I had to take Saturday, Sunday off this week, I'm trying to stream one or two extra days. Plus, I co-host a podcast called the Just One More Level Podcast. And we haven't been able to really do episodes in a while because work and other life things got in the way of me and, and my co-host. Um, so we're hoping, though, to be able to do an episode tomorrow. It'll It probably would be just in the afternoon, though. Like around, uh, I don't know, 5, 6 o'clock-ish in the afternoon Eastern time. 
take Nate bowling so you can watch and you intimidate him. Wait, what? I'm confused. You want me to take Nate bowling so you can watch and intimidate him? You want to watch Nate bowl? I mean, we can take Nate bowling if you want to watch him. <laughs> you love the little dancing loading screen thing? <laughs> Nate says he's up for it? Bro, I'm down to go bowling. I, like I said, I actually do like bowling. I'm not particularly good at it, but it's a fun time still. Oh no, that's bad. There's I there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this one. You gotta like really hit that thing on the edge. This is gonna this is gonna go in the gutter. Yeah, that was bad. I'm not gonna hit either one. Just sit straight down the middle of the lane. Perfect. Well, hey, we had a pretty decent start though. Two uh, two strikes in a row. Not bad. I think we're in the lead. No, no, you already said it, Mr. Noodle. You have to, uh, you have to watch Nate Bull so you can intimidate him. It's 1221 right now. Yeah, for you, for, uh, Eastern time, it's, uh, 121. So you must be an hour behind us here. So for you, I'll probably be starting tomorrow morrow around like four or five. So I don't, I don't think you'll be able to make it, Adam. If you can, that'd be awesome. But if you can't, that's fine, man. I totally understand everybody's got their own lives to deal with. All right, let's, uh, let's get back to strikes, hopefully. Pull it in. Nice. Well, if it's lunch break, you might. Hey, I'd appreciate it. The podcast, by the way, if you don't know anything about it, you or anybody else in stream, uh, this year, my co-host said he wants to do Year of the PS2, which works out since I'm playing so many PS2 games anyways. But essentially, we just try different games, generally one to two hour of them, and then we discuss what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it, and whether we think it's worth uh, playing, you know? Whether it's worth picking up. And uh, so it, it's not really like a full review because we don't play enough of the game to, to do a full review on it. It's more like a, a first impressions sort of deal. And uh, we started just kind of as a way to have fun and also to try a bunch of games that we otherwise wouldn't have really had a chance to try. And uh, we just kind of kept going with it because we had fun, man. Our accuracy was a little bad there. Sounds like fun. I have fun with it, at least. <laughs> and I, I know uh, the Dorseman is the, the co-host. I know he has fun with it as well. And I certainly hope the people that that watch or, or listen to it later on their podcast platform of choice, I am very surprised we got the spare there, to be honest. I didn't think we'd do it. But anyways, yeah. We, we upload them to YouTube, and they're also on all different, you know, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Acast, all over the place. So I hope the people that check them out there enjoy it as well. You enjoy it? Thank you, Nate. At least you do. Nobody else, but... <laughs> is there a way to pull up the score? There is. Oh, but... Wait, can I only see my score? No, that, that must just be whoever's currently playing. Like, whoever's turn it is. Yeah, there we go. So I am currently in the lead, but just barely. 74, 71, 31. So a good bit ahead of A, B, or whatever the hell that third person's name was. Nice. Perfect. Keep it going. Uh, not quite. I think we're putting a little tiny bit too much of a spin on it. We either need to throw it harder or stop putting that much spin. That was a bad throw. It's not going to hit. Yeah. Wasn't accurate enough. Hey, at least we didn't throw it in the gutter, though. Like Mr. Uh, whatever this dude's name is. All right. So that should just put us farther in the lead, then. Because he was the one closest to us, and... He, uh, we knocked them all down by one. He was missing, well, most of them. Found out today that you got the job you applied for. Hey, congrats, Adam. That's awesome, man. I hope it ends up working out well for you. I'm assuming it's something that you, uh, that it's something you want to do and not just, like, a money pushing you into it sort of deal. Need to hear Doris's randomness been too long? Yeah, Doris is a lot of fun to stream with because he is very 
he, he's a very random person. He's a relatively entertaining person, too, so... <laughs> sure, you want to hear all that, Nate? <laughs> y'all pick on, uh... Y'all pick on Dorsman too much. I mean, I do, too, but... <laughs> Hope so, too. It's in healthcare. I remember vaguely us talking about that in the... the What was it? It was the Crash Twin Sandy stream, I think you were in, right? I remember talking about it vaguely then, or... Nursing assistant. Yeah, awesome. Congrats, man. I hope it goes well for you. Do you uh, know how long it'll be until you start actually working it? Like, is it like a, a two weeks deal or is it going to be a month or something? Like, Okay, just, just one spin. Just the little touch there of spin. Uh, okay, I don't think we quite had enough power. Two days, holy crap, so very soon. That's awesome, man. Good for you, good for you. I hope the hours aren't too much for you, at least, especially with the uh, Omicron variant rampaging throughout the nation there. I've uh, heard horror stories of, shit, went in the gutter, of hospitals being overrun again with people not only catching, but also people wanting to uh, get tests, which is, you know, perfectly reasonable, but still. Yeah, they're understaffed and half the staff is out on leave, so you hope it works out. Yeah, that's rough. Even, like, I work retail, and uh, so does Mr. Noodle, for that matter. We both work retail, different places. But anyways, uh, a lot of our staff's been out lately with with uh, COVID recently. It's rough, man. Thankfully, best we can tell, we've avoided Omicron. We had the original variant, but so far avoided omicron hopefully it stays that way used to work at walmart for four years yep that's uh <laughs> i know that all too well <laughs> all too well man ah oh it went down awesome i didn't think it was going to but it just barely nicked it on the bottom there that's perfect yeah, I did the whole management thing for a little while, and then uh, after some life circumstances happened and I realized how little large corporations care about their employees, that's when I stopped caring about <laughs> large corporations, basically. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I decided to step down. I'm, I'm no longer doing the management thing. The money is decent, but um, it just definitely wasn't wasn't worth all of the uh stress and uh so i just i just do regular retail now and then someday i hope to release the video game that myself and again the co-host for the podcast horseman are working on so and then uh maybe if we're lucky the game will do well if not then it'll we had fun putting it together or are having fun putting it together so we'll see how that goes Heard you get overtime in your new job. Walmart would always cut your hours not to get it. So as far as Walmart goes, I think that's a like store by store basis. The Walmart that I've worked at, um, they allow overtime most of the year, but like after holidays and things like that, not so much. But like during the main part of the year they do, as long as you're not getting like a, a crap ton, you know? But if you're, if you keep it under like five to 10 hours overtime, a week they usually don't say too much especially if you're in a department that's you know short staffed or or one of the heavily worked departments like the unloading teams and stuff like that but honestly and I, I feel that's true of any retail job well really any job in general I guess your management that's directly over you can make or break that job for you you know like I don't care where you work if you have a good enough manager somebody that makes you feel appreciated and that you can be friends with almost you know then you're gonna have a better time than the people who are just there to be dicks the entire time they made you cut one hour over yeah i mean i've been in both situations at walmart to be honest with you, you know there have been times where they've asked me to take overtime there have been times where they've asked me to cut it but again it it, it waxes and wanes depending on the time of year and who the managers are at that given time but you're scheduling yourself to work seven days a week in this new job. Well, try not to overdo it, man. 
You don't want to. You don't want to wear yourself out, but then pointed you for cutting it. Yeah, see, and that's what I mean. Like, it sounds like you just had a really shitty manager, you know? Oh, I completely missed Mr. Noodle's message. Retail has been extra annoying lately. P people have pretty much gone insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta have you time. At least I know I do. I gotta have me time. That's one thing that I do miss whenever I was doing the management thing, though, was uh, my position was four on, three off. So I did get three days off every week. Um, and they were, generally speaking, three days off in a row, which was nice. That's the one downside of stepping down but keeping my full-time position is, is now I work five on, two off. Well, five days a week, the, the two off usually doesn't come in a row. Yeah, but overtime with bonus pickup is 45 an hour, so you want that. That's why. Yeah, no, I totally get that. Like, that's some awesome money, man. But... You still, you don't want to, you don't want to burn yourself out, I guess, is what I'm saying. But I mean, I don't know. Everybody's different, you know? Me, I'm the type of person that needs my, my me time, my downtime. But there are certainly people out there that thrive just working all the time. And if you're one of them people, then go for it, man. Maybe you'll just do it for two weeks and then back off. Yeah, I mean, or if you really love it in those two weeks, then you can keep going, of course. But from... My personal point of view, though, it, it's good to, to take some time for yourself to relax every now and then. Plus, you know, I also have that personal philosophy where making money is really nice. And having money in the bank, in case anything happens, obviously, is, is, is really nice. But at the same time, we're all going to go out someday. And we don't know when, right? So... I, that's one of the many reasons why I don't want to just work non-stop 24-7 um, and just just for money because exactly you can't take the money with you so I, I make sure that I have my bills paid um, and I try it doesn't always work out but I try to keep a little bit of a nest egg so if anything goes wrong I'll have some money just in case but I also make sure that I spend my money on things that I enjoy and take time to enjoy those things. You know, whether it's camping, video games, whatever the case may be. Man, but I'll tell you what, now that I figured out how this bowling game works, it's not actually all that bad. I'll give it that. I was pretty critical of it in the beginning, but I, uh, once I learned, uh, you know, you can just back the power off a little bit to get the accuracy a little more uh, specific, a little, little more precise. That's, uh, that really made the game for me. <laughs> it's still, I don't see myself, like, coming back and playing this game all the time or anything like that. But I'm not offended by it anymore, you know? <laughs> like, it, it felt so bad there at the beginning feel that all too well stream i think you can do it <laughs> i'm one that needs to be away from the people you deal with that's uh, same mr noodle me and you are very alike in that regard all right yeah that was actually it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad um as for regular streams so i haven't updated the schedule on twitch yet but I am going to be switching things up just a little bit. We have a D&D night scheduled, one extra D&D night scheduled now, and that's on Saturdays, which is a day that I normally would be streaming. I'm not going to just drop that day, though. I'm going to be streaming on a different night. I just haven't decided what night yet, um, but we have a little bit of time to decide that because next Saturday is actually my birthday. So I'll be doing a little bit of a birthday live stream uh, Saturday afternoon. I haven't decided every game I'm going to play yet. I do know for sure I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts because that's one of my favorite games and I've been wanting to play it anyway. So when better to play it than on my birthday? It's a me day, so I'm going to play some Kingdom Hearts, man. I freaking love that game. We'll probably do that for a few hours and then uh, try out one or two other PS2 games and then uh, go from there. Happy birthday. Thank you, Adam. Yep. It's a, I got another... Oh, shit, I guess it's only uh, technically three days now, my time. It's uh, it's creeping up on me. <laughs> Never want to play the games I get you again. There was one or two of them that were pretty good, wasn't there? I can't remember all the games that you got. Oh, yeah, Spy, Spy Hunter, Spy whatever it was, Mr. Noodle. And that game was actually pretty fun. I would be totally down to play that game again. 
You don't know? <laughs> yeah, that game was fun. I'm sure there's other ones too. And then there's a handful that you've gotten me that, uh, that I haven't tried yet. They could end up being pretty good. We'll just have to wait and see. I hope you like the funny one. She's been, she's been telling me there's a funny game in the stack of games she got me for my birthday, but she won't tell me what it is. And I haven't gotten that one yet because she's just been randomly like every day or two giving me a present because she's terrible at, at waiting <laughs> to give presents to people. But uh, every time I open one, she's like, oh, I hope it's the funny one. I hope it's the funny one. And I haven't <laughs> gotten that one yet. <laughs> it's a little agonizing to both of us, I think, because she really wants me to open it. And uh, I I want to see just what the hell it is because she keeps bringing it up, but it hasn't happened yet. Hey, five more bits before we go. Thank you so much, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. We are signing off, though. I should probably switch that from break to finished because, you know, you're curious what it is now too, right? See, she keeps doing this to us, man. She's like, oh, there's a funny one. It's going to be so funny. And then just, I'm never going to see it. It's going to, somehow before my birthday, it's just going to end up getting lost and we're never going to figure out what it is because by then she probably won't even remember what the hell <laughs> it is. It can be part of the birthday stream. I mean, if you really want me to, to stream it on my birthday, I will. Like I said, I'm fine with that. I haven't decided what other games we're playing other than Kingdom Hearts, so. We can do that, love. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it, man. We I said everything I could think of that I wanted to say. We had a little bit of fun with bowling, and uh, I'd call it fun, but not particularly, with Power Drone before that. Talked about the schedule changes, which I need to remember to do, like actually put in to Twitch's schedule after the stream here. And, uh, that's it. Yeah, have a good night, Nate. Thank you for being here, man. Appreciate it. Have a feeling you won't want to play much of it. <laughs> I guess we'll see, Mr. Noodle. Finally saw your little bits falling in the cup. Yeah, now it's a, uh, it, it's not really pachinko, but it's kind of like that, is what I have it set to now. It's really light, though. I should brighten it up a little bit, because this one's not as bright as the snowman or whatever it was that we had before. Stocking, the Christmas stocking. So I should probably brighten that up. I'll do that now before I forget. Let's go into uh, filters, color correction, opacity, change it, uh, not piece by piece, maybe like 0.5. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. So we can see it a little bit better over there in the corner. And then my little dude down in the bottom left-hand corner. He's so cute. <laughs> I guess you can't actually see it now because I just had that on the one on the one uh, view here, on the on the game view over there. The little dude. Hopefully that'll be a uh, emote that y'all can use here within a couple days. There's still going to be some refining that we do on it, but yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Thank you again for being here, everybody. I hope to see you again soon. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. You do make me wonder if it's possible to get a thousand strokes, Nate. <laughs> I don't think it is.